What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Adam and Tyler. Well, thank you for joining me today. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because it's like midnight over here right now. I'm trying to shoot this video. Uh, I got this new Funko right here. It's gotta be Kane. But while I'm opening it, I'll let you know. So as many of you know, I just moved in. It's clearly not the setup I want. I got belts. I got Funkos. I got WWE Funkos. I don't know what exactly I want to do with it. Maybe you can comment below. Give me some ideas of how you think the layout should be. More Funkos, more belts. Whatever. I don't know how much I'm going to keep, how much I'm going to sell, because as you know, it was a pain in the butt to move all this stuff. And here's another one to add to the collection. But I did move recently, and I got a little welcome to the neighborhood the other day. So I walk out of my truck Friday morning to go to work. I hit the alarm, makes a weird sound where it's like, uh, that didn't sound like I locked my truck, but my truck was still there, so that was good news. Go to put some stuff in the back, and I notice this black box I have that has just plastic bags for going to the grocery store were missing. I thought, okay, well maybe someone grabbed it during the move. I didn't realize it till just right now. Went and sit in the seat. The middle glove compartment, little, I don't know what you call it, thing in the middle, it was open. I went, uh, that's not a good sign. And then I turned on my truck and it said the back passenger door was ajar. I don't use the back passenger door, especially not when I'm just getting out by myself. I went, ding, I know what happened. Someone walked by and checked the doors and, oh, look, this is unlocked. Grabbed that box, grabbed some candy. I think they might have grabbed a knife. They grabbed a Starbucks gift card I had that I got for free not too long ago. But it's funny because I had it hidden for the longest time. And I finally got it out where I could use it, and they stole it within 24 hours. That's my kind of look. But good news is it wasn't anything too valuable that they took, but it's just a nice little, like, there's still crappy people out there, and I hate them all. So, warning to me and warning to you, make sure you keep your doors locked at all times because people are, as soon as you slip, people, someone's just waiting to catch you when you're slipping, when you're, when you're like, oh, everything's cool. It's not cool because that's when they steal. So, here we go. We got this King Funko. I ordered it from Fanatics, I believe. It's just under 20 bucks. Nice little packaging on the top, but nothing on the bottom. So, not the greatest, but... It does look like it's in really good condition, so I do appreciate that. It's number 164. Let's look at the back. They've been getting better, but I don't know if they're going to do it exactly in order. So, 155, 158, 159, 160, 161, 163. Kind of in the area, but as you see, the 155, 158, they skip some. But this is the new Kane Funko, I believe, when he debuted in In Your House. And there's an In Your House pin. Maybe we'll look at that first. Open it from the bottom. And once again, I do apologize for the setup and everything that's going on right here. I got a lot of stuff going on. You'd think within a week I'd have something set up, but it's just so much crap. So, oh, it's got a little tray underneath here to keep the In Your House pin safe. So right there it says, In Your House. And then we've got the Kane Funko. This is a neat looking Kane Funko. Uh, for the longest time, they only had the one Kane Funko, and I didn't really like it the way it looked, and they came out with the one a few months ago, and that one was sick looking, and this one's pretty cool looking too. It's got the black eye and the white eye. Got the hair right here as attachments. I mean, they don't come off. They shouldn't come off, but you can tell they actually made the Funko, and then these got put on after the fact. Definitely a big fan of Kane. I know him and Undertaker were, were preaching for getting Trump into office, and it worked. Screw it, Batista, how you lost. Little weird looking. He's wearing pearl necklaces. You went from the animal Batista to this scrawny ass purple suit wearing, pearl wearing, I don't know what you call it, of a man. But there he is there. So there's the Kane Funko. But. That is it. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And once again, I do apologize for the mess, and I appreciate all you watching. And until next time, peace.